This is our anthill, and you can see some of the ants are pretty excited right now. We just fed them a piece of apple, and they're kind of running around it. And Wow, these ants are really walking around. They'll do it a lot right there. This is all in hill. It's really good. Oh, and we fed it. It's really cool. I don't know what I can say about it. But one thing for sure, we put our ants in a few days. A week ago. This is two weeks into our ant hill. Um, and it's been really interesting to watch them work. They're not working too much in the afternoon. They tend to work in the morning and at night. So that when we come downstairs every morning, we see what they've been working on. Um, I'm going to ask Carson some questions. Carson, has it always had this path? No, it has. It has. They filled some spots in. They filled this, the line that we made in. Right, because originally we just had one line going down the middle. And then they filled it in by taking other pieces and pushing them there. Mm -hmm. And right now they're making a hole to go down there. Maybe they're kind of, This is afternoon right now, so it's kind of quiet. There only seem to be about five ants on this side in their actual farm area. Um, and this is what we see if you see an ant hill outside. Um, this would be what's inside the ant hill are their tunnels that they create. It's been really interesting to see them create these. Um, one of the most interesting things for me is seeing how they actually move things, um, but also how they work together because we're really wondering how they communicate. Instantly, I was wondering if there was a leader of the pack who was giving direction, and I thought that I found one, and then the next thing I knew, that guy was working just as hard, and I don't really know if there is any communication that helps them to create this, but. They work hard and they seem to get it. What have done. you learned about um, ants and their ant farm, Hill? Well, the ants are always moving. Mm hmm. And whenever I see them, they start moving. And then whenever I come down for breakfast, they are moving. They're moving. And um, do they seem to have friends in there? Or do you think. They seem to have friends. How can you tell? They're working, but the ones that, I think the ones that are eating are the friends. Okay, so the ones that are at the top eating, and, and look, I just noticed that they all seem to have gone to the top. How do you think they, what do you think they're going up there for right now? They're going up to eat the apples. How do you think they know the apples up there? Well, they can sense it. They can sense it? Which sense? Smell? You think it smells? Yes. Okay. So what we're going to do now is we're going to um, open this up because when I first received this, I was terrified about putting the ants in. They come in these little vials and you dump them in here. Um, and I was really afraid they wouldn't go straight in or they were going to jump all over the house and I'd have to figure out a way to clean them up. So Carson's backing away because he doesn't like it when I do this. but. Um, this is a pretty strong top. It has tiny, tiny little holes, and the ants can't climb out of there. There is a chance they could climb out, but you can see a collection of ants up here right now. So you just dump the ants in here through the vial. You never have to touch it. They're not going to come out. But they did get excited. And then they sit, and it took a good 24 hours for them to really get used to their home and start moving around. Um, but then by the second day, they had already started making their farm in the background. So, um, oh, and when we started the hill, also, all of the sand was on the other side. You have to put the sand into there and pack it in. And um, they, one of the most interesting things was the very first few days, they were taking their, the sand from back here, carrying it all, from back here, carrying it all the way up or around and up or however they came through. And then they would drop it here. So it was like a piece of sand and it was painstaking because these little tiny ants were doing so much work, but it was also motivating um, to see just how much these little ants could move and how much they could do.
because although the little piece of sand is small to us, it's not so small to the ants. Um, finally, I was commenting to a friend recently that watching the ants is actually relaxing. And there are times where you just stare at the ants. and It's like staring at a candle burning. You just kind of get mesmerized and don't really want to stop. Could you please stop? Thank you. So has this, Carson, we're going to finish up now. Has this been an interesting um, activity for you to have? It's been very interesting. It has. Can you tell me more about why? Well, I like watching the ants and how they eat and how they take care of the others. Okay. Um, what's the biggest thing you've learned? The biggest thing is that they work together. Okay. And would you recommend this to a friend? Mm, the yes. insect lore anthill? Or yes. Yes. I would. You would, and he's off to play with the ball again. Okay, well, this is from Insect Lore. Obviously, uh, we're enjoying it. We're learning a lot from it. We've had it two weeks, and the ants are now our pets. Um, pets. What? Nothing. So they've been a lot of fun, and um, we definitely recommend it. It's a great gift. It's less than $20, so it's a good birthday present, as long as the mom um, understands that Ant hills are really low maintenance, but it's a little scary when you first get it. Have fun and enjoy. Thanks a lot. Carson, what have you learned about ants? Well, they're really... Are you wearing a cutting board? <laughs> yes. I just tied it on to me. Oh. So what have you learned? That's an, an interesting costume there. <laughs>